Hello there, and welcome back to the channel. This is Mouse Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now today's video is going to be a selection of highlight clips from the past few days, and we're going to start off here with some small game diamonds. And firstly, we are on Rancho Del Arroyo, where once again I have come across another level 3 pheasant. I seem to have extraordinarily good luck with finding trophy pheasants, I don't know what it is, but initially I actually spooked this guy and so I had to track him for a little way before I actually managed to finally get a shot on him. And picking him up, he is another diamond pheasant at 21.40, so a pretty decent sized diamond when 20.30 is the diamond requirement. A nice little diamond that I'm more than happy to add to the trophy lodge. I absolutely love getting diamond pheasants. And sticking with Rancho del Arroyo now, I'm going to shoot this level 3 antelope jackrabbit. Once again, this is both of these animals actually, the pheasant and this jackrabbit, were on that bottom road hotspot on Rancho, which is just incredible for all of the small game. And yeah, another diamond antelope jackrabbit. This one is a 6.60 common, and I actually haven't shot that many common fur type antelope jackrabbit diamonds. Most of my diamond jackrabbits have actually been the grey fur type. So it was nice to get another common one to add to the trophy lodge. Moving on now to a clip from Yukon Valley multiplayer, and I was down on the river in search of grizzly bears and caribou when I spotted this level 3 harlequin duck. Now, I don't always include getting level 3 ducks into videos, just because they are a little bit more common to find as diamonds, even though it's always really cool to get them. But it ended up being a little bit extra cool because I spotted this level 2 male that has a minimum estimate of 7. Now, 7.2 is the diamond requirement for Harlequin Ducks. So when they have that minimum estimate of 7, they do have a pretty good chance at actually making diamond. But picking up the level 3 first, and he is of course a diamond at 7.2. So right on requirement. Nothing too amazingly special, just a beautiful little duck. And I really do love the Harlequin Ducks. They are just gorgeous gorgeous with all those different colours in their feathers. Honestly my favourite duck in the entire game. But now the level 2 has floated in, we'll pick this one up as well. He is also a common and also a diamond at 7.2. As I mentioned, these level 2s that have that minimum estimate of 7 do have a pretty high chance at making diamonds, so they're always worth shooting. And moving on now to a clip from Parque Fernando, where we are looking at a level 3 albino mule deer buck. Now, I had to track this guy for quite a way before I eventually managed to get a shot on him. But he's actually, even though he's a level 3, he's actually a really nice looking level 3. Unfortunately, some of the rare mule deer I've shot have the less than nice looking small antlers. So when I saw this guy, I was actually quite excited to try and get him down. Just because he looks better than the one I currently have in my main trophy lodge. And I just waited until he gave me a nice broadside shot there and managed to pop him in the lungs with the M1. And he wasn't going to go far from that shot. And these guys really do look beautiful with these new models that they got on the Rancho update. Honestly, I think the albino mule deer are just gorgeous. And you can see he is only a silver at 193.30, but that is still a really nice animal to find. He just looks like a good young mule deer. I of course would love to get a bigger one, but this will actually replace a slightly bigger but less nice looking albino buck that I had in the main trophy lodge. So I was very, very happy to find this guy. Moving on now to a clip from Rohonga Savannah, and once again I am in the Gemsbok hotspot in the south, and once again I am looking at a level 5 female Gemsbok. I seem to have insane luck with finding level 5 female Gemsbok, because they're not exactly common, and as I've mentioned in previous videos, they have a very high chance of being max weight and max score, so they're extremely cool to find. But not only did I find that level 5 female, in the same herd was this level 3 gold male. Now gold is the only rare fur type for Gemsbok, so in that herd there was a potential max weight and max score, and a rare, which is really really cool. And I managed to get a nice long shot on both of them there with the 300, and neither of them went very far before they actually collapsed. Now you can see this is the level 5 female, which just looks huge. And yep, another max weight, max score female Gemsbok. 358 score, 210 kgs. That is as big as these guys can possibly get for the females. And absolutely awesome. You can see the 300 there, double long and liver. So definitely wasn't going to go very far from that shot. 
and now picking up the gold fur type male. He is only a silver, unfortunately, at 263.80. Again, a solid long shot there from the 300. And I didn't know whether to tax this guy or not, so I am just going to put him into my saved harvests for now. I do have some bigger gold females, but maybe I would like to put a gold male somewhere in one of the lodges. Still a really beautiful animal, and to get two animals like that in the same herd was awesome. Moving on now to a clip from Te Awawara, and I was actually up here hunting for a couple of specific feral goat trophies when I found something absolutely crazy that really shocked me. I saw what looked to be a pretty big feral goat, and then I got the spotting outline on it and it was a level 4. And then I noticed its score estimate, 213 to 242. That's a guaranteed diamond feral goat. They make diamond at 208.70, so that's a pretty big guaranteed diamond feral goat. And it's only a level 4. I don't know how this thing isn't a level 5. I have shot many level 5s that have been trolls and a lot smaller than this, and that is by far the biggest estimate I've ever seen on a feral goat. I honestly couldn't just, just couldn't believe what I was looking at. Because these guys troll all the time as level 5s. And I've seen so many people say that, you know, level 4s can make it. And I've seen evidence of them posted. But I just never laid eyes on one that could actually be a diamond. I've seen a few that have estimates that go up and past diamond. But they were far too small. But this guy was huge. Like, I knew straight away that this thing was huge, but, but then I saw that score estimate, and honestly, it took my breath away. So I knew I had to make a good shot on this guy, because he was something pretty special. Like, even if this had been a level 5, I wouldn't have been as excited. Just because it was a level 4, it just had me so nervous about actually making a good shot. But I actually managed to drop him there with a heart shot from the 243. And he just looks huge. He's got two different horns as well. It's just an awesome looking goat. And he's actually 215.70, which is a really big diamond feral goat. Like, I have some diamond feral goats that have gone up into the 220s, but for a level four, what a crazy animal. And those horns, like I said, are just two completely different horns. Just absolutely incredible. So if you guys have ever shot a level 4 diamond feral goat like this, please let me know. Because I haven't seen one quite this big. I honestly thought if it was going to be a diamond at all for a level 4 ever, that it would be just barely. And it would be a trophy rating thing that it just made it. I never expected to find a guaranteed diamond level 4. So this was a really interesting animal for me to actually find. Really, really cool. And now onto some Silver Ridge Peaks clips. And starting off down here where I was in search of some mountain lions. And I found something pretty cool hiding in the reeds. That right there is a guaranteed diamond mountain lion. And mountain lion diamonds aren't exactly hard to find. But they do troll a lot when they're level 9s. So finding one that has a guaranteed diamond estimate is pretty cool. And you always have that hope that maybe they will be a max weight and max score one. And as you can see, managed to put a nice solid shot into him there with the M1. And he really didn't go more than a couple of metres before he actually fell over. Just a common fur type, so not the grey diamond I'm looking for. But he is a diamond at 39.60. So a really nice little find whilst I was in search of a couple of specific trophies for these guys always nice to find another diamond along the way and on this same server this next clip took place i came down to this area in search of plains bison mule deer and pronghorn and something made me turn around just after spotting this bison and i'm so glad that whatever it was did make me turn around because that right behind me just walking calmly out there was a level five rocky mountain elk and honestly, it's just so funny how these things happen. Like, in the same server, to go from shooting a diamond mountain lion literally to this area and to see a level 5 Rocky Mountain elk was just so cool. Now, this guy is by far not a guaranteed diamond. I have been trolled by this specific rack for Rocky Mountain elk before. But it is one of my favourite racks for them, even though it only just makes diamond if it will make diamond. Just because I love how huge it looks. With those flared out backs, it looks amazing. 
and I managed to get him to go attentive there just long enough to stop and give me a nice long shot with the 300. And unfortunately he did die in some very thick brush, but you can still see the scale of those antlers. And picking him up, he is a diamond at 489.90, which is actually a decent size and a lot higher scoring than I thought this guy would actually be. But you can see the antlers are just so huge. But the diamond requirement is 481.40, so he is a good bit over. But you just think that these guys would score so much higher with just these huge antlers. But I think it's the lack of mass that lets this particular rack down, especially towards the back. But honestly, it is just one of my favourite racks. It looks incredible. Just absolutely huge. Absolutely awesome to always get these trophies for Rocky Mountain Elk. They're one of my favourite species in the game, just purely because of those huge antlers. And moving on now to a different Silver Ridge Peak server, where I was actually following something pretty interesting. That is a max weight grey mountain lion track. So I was hoping that maybe that would be a legendary that I hadn't seen when I had initially spotted around this lake. But I was spotting around and I couldn't see a grey mountain lion anywhere. I could see some sheep moving through the trees. And then I noticed that one of them happened to be a level 5. Now, the track that ensued to try and get this level 5 was crazy. I ended up crashing out of the server after probably a 3 kilometer track and eventually managed to get back into the same server, got host of the server, managed to get him back to his drink zone, but he got spooked again by mountain lions. So I had to track him all the way through the mountains again when finally he came into this area that was a little bit more open and I could get a shot on him. Honestly, I was just so done with tracking this individual sheep. This was probably about an hour's worth of work just trying to get this guy because he just kept spooking into such thick brush. It was honestly an awful track. But when he stopped here, I knew that this was my shot. I was going to take it whether I had, you know, very long to take it or not. And I did actually manage to drop him, so it did pay off. And you can see he's actually a pretty nice looking sheep with how he landed. You can see his horns really nicely. I had to take a screenshot because you don't see them land like this very often. That was pretty comical. And it just kind of, after all of that tracking, made sense he would land like that. But he is a diamond at 167.50. Not a huge diamond like I was hoping he'd be. I'd really like a 170 plus for the big horn. But he is a nice diamond. And you can see that's a 1.86 kilometer track already. And this was after I'd crashed after about half an hour of following him initially. So yeah, it was a lot of work to get this particular sheep down, but definitely worth it. Moving on now to a clip from Vrahonga Savannah where I found an animal that is, you just don't see a lot of them, and it got me very excited when I spotted it. Unfortunately, I did initially spook it, but after a bit of a track, I managed to catch up with it. That right there is an albino female springbok. You really do not see a lot of albino springbok. They are very rare to find. I've only ever shot a couple of them. Actually, one of them was on PC, so this is my second one ever on PC. But they're just, you just don't see a lot of them and they are just so cool. They really do stand out on like against the savannah colours, just this bright white animal. They are just so beautiful. And I'm going to take a very risky and very rushed shot here because what you guys can't see is just behind me. I am actually being chased by a very angry level 8 Cape Buffalo. And after such a long track, I wanted to get a shot into this springbok without without risking anything with that cape buffalo because I just did not want to lose out on it and as you'll see he is going to still be chasing me here as I go over to actually pick up the blood I was actually really lucky that I managed to get a vital shot on her it was so risky and I didn't think really what else I could have hit other than a lung considering she died very quickly so it was nice to see that I did actually get those vitals there and she did die, unfortunately, in the long grass. And because of that buffalo, I am going to pick her up while auto running. There you go. An albino female springbok. How beautiful is that animal? You just don't see a lot of these guys. They are just absolutely gorgeous. That bright white. 
And of course, they don't have the pink hooves either. So you have the black hooves and black horns that contrast with the white fur, which I think looks really cool. You can see I only just clipped that left lung there. It was such a risky shot. It only just paid off. And of course, it is a female, so it wouldn't have been the end of the world if I had missed the vitals. But I was actually really pleased that I did manage to just clip that lung. A really awesome animal that is going to look great in the trophy lodge. Moving on now to the first of a few men. Medved tiger clips and once again I am looking at another level 3 musk deer but not only is this guy a level 3 he actually has the particular common fur type that I have been after to try and get a diamond musk deer with because normally I see this particular fur type on very small males and females I've never seen it on any of the big musk deer I've shot and when I saw that this level 3 actually had this particular common fur type, I was very, very excited and crossing my fingers that he would make it. And he did look pretty big. Those tusks are very impressive. So I managed to get him to go alert and put a nice solid shot on him there with the 243. And he really didn't go anywhere from that shot. And those tusks did look really good, so I was hoping he would make it. And I picked him up and he is a max weight. 271.50 scoring when 249 is diamond musk deer that is a monster of a musk deer what a beast and having that fur type is just so cool i like to collect the different fur types for the trophy lodge just so that everything doesn't look the same and yeah this is my first diamond musk deer that had a different common fur type Normally my diamond musk deer have the very dark, almost black looking fur type, but seeing this one with the more orange colour on him is just absolutely awesome. And I was so, so pleased that this guy actually made diamond. Sticking with Medved Tiger now, and I was actually coming down to one of the hidden lakes that is a real hot spot for reindeer, brown bear and musk deer. And I really enjoy this spot because it's almost always unchecked. And I could see a pretty nice looking reindeer there, but unfortunately, when I actually finally get a spot on him as he's fleeing, you're going to see it is a level 5, but that's a guaranteed troll with an estimate that only goes up to 416. So unfortunately, he is not going to be a diamond. But I decided to look at the other portion of this lake, and you can see there's a good group of reindeer there with a couple of decent sized males. But what's more interesting is this little level 3 musk deer that was in front of them. Now, this guy has the fur type that all of my other diamond musk deer have had, that really dark brown, almost black in some places fur type. And I was just excited to find another level 3 musk deer. And this guy had a minimum estimate of 249, which is a pretty good minimum estimate. So I was hoping this guy would make diamond. And you can see sending all those reindeer running away. I just found it so comical how I was spotting all those reindeer and you could just see that musk deer and I spot him and then suddenly all the attention's on this tiny little musk deer. They are just such a great little animal. I love them so much. And those tusks looked huge. Like, I thought this guy looked particularly big when I actually shot him, which is why I pulled out the camera to get some screenshots. Because just look at those tusks. That is a huge musk deer. Like, absolutely monstrous. I was very confident when I saw this guy on the ground that he would make diamond. But I didn't expect this. I picked him up and he's a max weight, max score musk deer. 276 when 249 is diamond and 17 kilos on the dot. That is a max musk deer. You, they don't get any bigger than this guy, which is just hilarious to me. I cannot believe that I seem to have just such good luck with these guys at the moment. And with getting max, max weight and max score animals in multiplayer. Like we had that brown cape buffalo in the previous video and now a musk deer just out at an unchecked lake on a random multiplayer server. I just seem to have really good luck with getting max weights and max scores at the moment and I'm definitely not complaining. And getting a max weight and max score musk deer is pretty uncommon. You don't see an awful lot of them as diamonds in the first place, especially not ones this big. I was in shock. I thought this had it had to be max score and I checked and it was and yeah absolutely incredible and of course I, he's going into the main trophy lodge what an absolute beast once again now on medved tiger i found something that was both heartbreaking and exciting at the same time that right there is a level five guaranteed troll piebald reindeer 
Now, it's equally, as I said, equally exciting and heartbreaking because this is the second time ever in this game that I've had a max level rare in front of me that had no chance at making diamond. That maximum estimate of 372 is way, way below diamond. I think reindeer make diamond at 430 something. So yeah, that never has any chance at making it. But still a really gorgeous looking animal. And I really did want a big piebald. Because I absolutely love the piebald reindeer. They're definitely my favourite rare for reindeer. And they're one of my favourite piebald variations of any animal in the entire game. So I managed to finally get a shot in him there with the M1. But my gosh, how I wish there had been, you know, a, a reindeer with a chance at making diamonds. Honestly, he probably should have been a level 4 with that score estimate and with these particular antlers. He just had no chance. But just seeing that level 5 pop up and knowing it's a rare, just, just slightly heartbreaking. Maybe one day I'll finally get a super rare and not a super rare troll. Which is now two, that's twice that's happened. That was on an albino fallow and now this piebald reindeer. And he scores right at the top of that estimate as well. 372.20 piebald gold reindeer yeah so diamond is 430.20 so he is way below actual diamond score but he still looks awesome but just yeah just a small amount of heartbreak a really cool animal and i'm so glad that i found this guy like oh my gosh awesome animal so thrilled to have him but just just a little bit heartbreaking that it says level five there and it's just not a diamond Hopefully one day I'll get my shot at an actual super rare. But a really cool looking reindeer with those two different antlers. And he's definitely going into that sleigh sold separately multi-mount to replace a much smaller piebald bull that was in there. Still a really gorgeous animal and one that was definitely really cool to find. And finally, I managed to find something here on Parque Fernando that got me very excited. And something that I have been looking for for a little while now. You can see we're looking at a group of cinnamon teal and I was pretty confident that I was looking at an animal that until recently I didn't even know existed. That right there looks just slightly different and I was 99% certain that that is a melanistic cinnamon teal. Now I didn't even know until recently that melanistic cinnamon teal were a thing and someone posted one and I just needed to get one. And you can see compared to this male here, which seeing as he's just sat there, I also wanted to shoot. He looks completely different. Like you can see the red colour on this level 2 male here, which actually made gold, which is pretty nice. And compare it to this darker colour on this cinnamon teal. I wasn't sure if I was just seeing something or if I was right. But when I pick him up, he is a melanistic cinnamon teal. Like I said, I didn't even know that these guys existed. I knew that there was piebalds, but I didn't know about melanistics. And funnily enough, the melanistics are sort of a lighter colour than the piebalds. The piebalds are really dark, almost chocolate, chocolate brown or black looking. Whereas this is like just a very dark red. And yeah, what a cool little duck. Like I said, I really didn't know that these existed and they're certainly not common. I don't see an awful lot of them posted. So I was very excited to actually get this guy and yeah, to complete something I've been looking for for a little while. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Hopefully my mic is slightly better now. I have a pop filter on it, which is something I didn't actually know to get until someone, uh, actually KC Kill Clinton awesome guy mentioned it to me. So yeah, hopefully that's been slightly better for this video and I will see you guys in the next one.